Previously in this series, we looked at one of the, I would dare to say, worst VTech toys in existence. And I'm glad to say that today, we're probably looking at one of the best, or at least one of my favourites. Uh, yes, hello every misguided robot who is still in the corner, being as robotic and misguided as ever. With his weird legs. You can go back over there. We'll, we'll have a whole video centred around misguided robot at some point. Um... I've done one of them, I just need to do another one now that I have, what, six of them. Anyway, uh, misguided robots aside, it's time to ask the age-old question, now then, VTech, what's the jank? And today, it is none other than the 2003 VTech uh, Peekaboo book, slash Nursery Rhymes book. No, no, Nursery Rhymes book, that's the other one. Uh, Rhyme and Discover book, not that one, or the 2015 one. Nope, this is the original Rhyme and Discover slash Peekaboo slash whatever the fuck you want to call it, Jank Tech book. Yeah, this thing has so many names that I I don't even know. Like, I think the UK one is called Peekaboo book. The US one is called Rhyme and Discover, and, uh, Rhyme and Discover book. I'm not even going to pronounce the French name of it because I, I don't want to make myself look like that much of a fool. I know they have a German version, probably a Spanish one. They have a lot of versions of this toy. But, um, yeah, let, let's talk about it. Also, background noise. I don't know what the hell people are doing out there, probably building something. Yeah, that's a, that's a wonderful noise. But, you know, I'm going to be uh, still doing the video because I'm not one of those people who... Uh, it's just like, nope, I want my shit to be 100% perfect and all that. Nope, I'm going like Jank Tech. Uh, once the camera starts rolling, that's it. Um, but yeah, this toy is a really cool one. And might I say at the beginning, uh, if you're in the UK, you can still readily buy these. You can still find them. You can still buy them. In stores, I believe. The last time I saw one of these was... I see the last year, 2022. I saw it, like, in the clearance. Like, the are we're trying to get rid of it. And it was £5, brand new. The funniest part of that was that I literally bought this thing used that same day. So I was like, oh, wow, they're still selling these. And I remember even when I was younger, they had... This one has outlived the 2004 Viatech book, which I've had too many of. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's start talking about this thing. Um, we are probably done talking about its absolutely insane sales. So, it's a book. Uh, surprise, right? It has a light on the kind of left, like right in the middle of the hinge. Um, it has a button on the top right, which... In my opinion, that button is kind of redundant and not very, like, it's it's a little bit useless. It, it, it has one purpose, and I'll get to that. Um, the size we have, like, you can see where all the pages are. You can actually stand this thing up. Wow, I never actually knew that in my however many years of owning this thing. Uh, on the back, you have a delightfully small speaker that, I mean, doesn't sound that bad, I guess. There are toys that sound worse. Um, and a battery cover that... Uh, the compartment houses two AAA batteries. Um, one thing I will say is, if you are going to buy one of these, uh, the compartments are sometimes slightly weird. But I think that's just because I got mine and it was a little corroded. So mine is a little bit hit and miss on if it works. Don't worry, this thing has nowhere near as many durability issues as the 2004 one. There's that noise again. <laughs> um... That's a, that's a great noise, by the way. Uh, on the back, we have not really a whole lot. We've got this big section with some text. If you can read it, great. If you can't, you're not missing out on too much. Um, I believe that's text. That's just really small. Is it the text or just detailing on the book? No, this is all text here. Um, this is a volume switch. They put the volume switch in the most inopportune... Well, I mean, it's not that bad, I guess, but it's just so not noticeable. Um, but yeah, let's start off by, like, doing the one thing that this button is meant for. And now I will actually move the camera down. So, sorry, misguided robot, we can only see your feet now. There we go. Um, 
So this one button, actually let's, I don't know what I should do, move it up a bit, there we go. Uh, camera adjustment, this is what you come to my channel for, right? So, the button uh, is kind of a fake kind of try me mode, because in the box this thing I don't think can open. So, oh and one thing about this try me is... Uh, this thing, once you hit the button, does not shut up. Like, when it's actually on and open, it's not that bad, but when you hit that, it will just keep going for about two minutes. And it's it's odd. Anyway, let's hit the button and see what we get. This will just give you kind of a preview of some of the stories slash songs on the thing. Mainly songs, actually. <laughs> God, I love the sound of this thing. Um, it's it's weird. It's like weird janky MIDI. It's story time. Weird janky MIDI, but then vocals plopped on top of it, and that can get interesting at times. Anyway, let's hit it again. Nice. <laughs> that is a truly wonderful vocal performance. Old MacDonald out of fun. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a couple more. And the light just kind of flashes. Oh, one thing I also forgot to mention is that there are quite a few cosmetic variations of this. I think there's a pink one. Um, so, if I have like a later revision or anything, they all work the same. I know the French dub, every single version has different songs. Oh, it even does that in the timing, okay. Yeah, well, I'm just playing you just hit the button. It's a really nice switch. I think those are the only ones you get. Okay. Um, so, there's not really much else this try me does. You know, it's a decent one. It gives you the idea of plays music. Let's see if you can get another one. Oh no, maybe you can get all of them. After this song, though, we will um, open the book. So what we'll do is we'll move this slightly to the right because pages exist. And when we open this, we will be uh, greeted with everybody's favorite all together now. Story time. I love that. Story and of course I bump the camera. Listen. I love doing that too. So the way this thing works is we have uh, two. So we have like two pages, of course, two sides to each page, and each page is its own nursery rhyme with a uh, little control or thing you can fuck around with, and it will. That's how you activate the thing. So the physical button on the front. If I flip this. I believe in this state doesn't, oh, it might, oh, it just does that, okay. I don't know why that button does anything in this mode, like, it's a weird place, it's a weird thing to do, just put that button there, um, but I guess I can see why they did it. So this one is kind of a weird little rotate thing, so you just do it go, Man, the sound of this thing brings me back a lot of nostalgia because I had the other VTech book a lot back then. 
I think I got this one slightly later, but man, I love it. It's it's so cool. This is one of those toys that I just if you find one if if you can get one of these, if you have a VTEC toy collection, this is something that you need. You need one. Oh, and then what you can also do is while a song is playing, if you trigger that input again, you get to pitch noises the over the top. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, if we go on to the next page, I'll slide this over a bit. Oh god, I really didn't think about this, did I? Okay, here you go. Uh, you get to see some of it, I guess. <laughs> um, there are plenty of other videos on it, so if my commentary isn't enough and you need better visuals, there probably are. Uh, there are a lot of other channels who have showed this thing working. So, this one, you slide up or down. We had this one. We had a lot of these just by pressing the button when it was closed. I will now show the instrumental thing. Uh, yeah, nice sound to it. There is an audio rip of this, by the way, up on the electronic toy archive. Two of them, I believe. One of them was when I got the thing, and another one was when I put fresh batteries in it. Because this is one of those things that... Uh, it's very weird, at least mine is, with batteries. Like, sometimes it'll be high-pitched, sometimes it won't. It's just kind of an all-round odd thing like that. Uh, if I do this again. You get to add a weird snap sample of the song, I guess. So now, we will flip the page. Like this. Whee! So yeah, where's in this, the where's the mouse? Here. We'll do that again. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You kind of slide it up and down. But the way you slide it is on this weird, like, curved thing. I'll show you what it sounds like when you... Move around the mouse. Let's see. Come on, come on, there we go. Also, for some reason, um, I don't know if you've noticed this, but like the MIDI will just start slower than it. Like the first note is always slower than everything else. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's like a limitation of the thing. It just kind of adds to the very jank. Where's the star? Well, here it is on this weird joystick thing over here. You're a little star. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. So I get to do it again. And then we'll get the song again because we have to get the other one, the other like instrumentation. But yeah, one thing we'll say is the the music on this toy is like really quite good. Like it just I don't know it has it has its own sound to it. Like I guess if you were born around the time period when this thing was made, then like because if you I don't know grew up with any of the newer ones, you'd probably look at this one and go, "Whoa, that sounds odd." But I don't know, I'm very used to it. Come on, come on. There you go. 
If you want eyeing noises, there are some eyeing noises, like this part coming up. But now we'll get onto the final page, and this has got to be, uh, probably the, there's one thing on this final page that I really do like. Um, just a funny little thing you can do. Anyway, let's, let's flip the page one final time, and we'll get... It's wonderful, isn't Where's it? The cow? You can tell that they, they had to speed up. Old, old MacDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah. Where's um, the cow? Now, if we do the the other song on this page. Oh, goodbye, baby. Nice big spring loaded. I do, I do like this Where's thing's spring loaded um, twisting we'll parts. Go. Where's the baby? I really would love to see one day this thing glitch in such a way that it would play all of the samples that it does use, uses for the music. Because I feel like it has quite a few of them. Okay, we'll do this again. Oh, we... goodbye, baby. oh honestly, you can... Um... You can re trigger the thing. Let's see, does it cut the drums off when you do that? Yeah, it cuts off the piano track. So this thing probably only has what? I'd say three channels? And finally, you may be wondering what, what did they do with this noise? Well, they bumped the camera. No, they, uh, they did this. Come on, come on. No, I had a very good second video. And then finally, we'll get onto this uh, sliding thing over here. Oh, sorry, misguided robot. Just went. Where's the um, baby? Where's the baby? So you slide this. This one's actually quite. Interesting how it works. So you slide it over. Now what's funny is that this one actually has some variation. So if I slide it again, Again, uh, listen to this. You can you can kind of glitch the thing. You have to get the timing right, but with an oink oink here and a moo moo there. That's wonderful. You can just do this again, on, and you can. So that's fun. Uh, we'll wait for the where's the cow. Oh, and also when you're going when you're going back through pages, it doesn't do the page turn sound effect. Then when I close the final page here, and there we go. That's all the thing does. Uh, let's pop the camera back down again. Um, but yeah, there you go. Another episode done, I guess. Um, this toy is really cool. Again, I I can't really recommend it enough. Like, it does... It's one of those toys that doesn't do a whole lot, but what it does do, it's... It feels very, like, satisfying to me. 
because the other versions of this now i would like to at some point bump the camera again no um i'd like to at some point get the 2008 one because i don't know a whole lot about it and it's only recently that i've been started to get into that kind of period of VTech. but yeah this this thing is cool i really do like it um if you are in the uk i would say go out and grab one of these because they're they're still very much out there um they are still in circulation very easy to find and i like that because i feel like this thing is easy to find but it is very popular like even on the i think the the amazon listing says something like um it even references that like people have loved this thing for the past 20 years or something like that like that it's just like i don't know the the classic nurse rhymes book i don't know it, it's i don't know what it says but it's cool i'll uh i'll put a link to the amazon listing somewhere i don't know but yeah there you go uh there is the vtech 2003 peekaboo book slash rhyme and discover book and uh why don't you say we have one last um one last song from the thing